Hey everyone, it's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. We have Miss Betty by Grimace de la Rosea in her enclosure that is now decorated for Christmas or her winter decorations because I leave my Christmas decorations up until March. So anyway, today I wanted to talk about a uh, zombie fungus that impacts tarantulas. It's referred to as the zombie fungus and it is what inspired the show Last of Us and the video game. There is actually a video that goes along with this information that was uploaded by the guy who found this fungus. And so I will see if I can upload it. Hey everyone, we have stumbled across something truly incredible tonight. In front of me is a tarantula that unfortunately for it has become infected by cordyceps. Now, for those of you who don't know what cordyceps is, this is the zombie fungus. That's the inspiration for the hit video game and TV show, The Last of Us. And well, this unfortunate tarantula is a character in his own movie here tonight. Now he was infected by this fungus and it took over his nervous system and forced him to come to this location. And then as he died, the fungus sprouted out of his body, allowing the spores to spread uh, to another unsuspecting tarantula. And this is actually a very rare species of cordyceps. We rarely encounter tarantulas like this. And when I say species of cordyceps, it's true. Each group of invertebrates has their own species of cordyceps which uh, infects them so this is a truly horrific but also incredible thing for our team to have found tonight he found this in the peruvian amazon and this fungus pretty much takes over the tarantula's bodies takes over their nervous system and kills them and the crazy thing that i find about this and it was kind of creepy and scary is that this fungus actually like forces the tarantula because it does take over their entire nervous system. It forces the tarantula to go to like a certain location. So it is like controlling the tarantula's body. That just kind of creeps me out thinking about the tarantula or any animal really moving around and not being in control of its body. And I guess we do have other diseases like that. For example, like rabies, when an animal is infected with rabies, generally they start to make some, um, movements that they're not completely in control of either. Um, so I guess it's kind of like that, but I think that that's a little bit creepy too. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, this fungus infected the tarantula, made it come to a certain location. And then as the tarantula died, like in the process of the tarantula dying, this fungus spread and it actually spored and started to come out of the tarantula's body. I am hoping that because this fungus took over that this tarantula did not feel any of this like maybe it was dead before it was dead in terms of like being conscious it was more like maybe robotic or like the last of its uh faculties were working because of the fungus but the spider was not actually really feeling any of it uh but yeah so the picture is wild the video is wild and while I don't think this is a fungus that any of our tarantulas will be at risk for, at least in the US, I do think that it's important to know all the things that can impact our tarantulas. Um, so that includes fung funguses, that includes certain Im illnesses or infections like nematodes, um, also includes things that are also fatal like DKS. And so good to know. Also really interesting that something that took over a spider's body actually inspired a TV show that's quite popular. So um, anyway, what did you guys think of that video? Like hoping, hoping that I can include it. What did you guys think of the video? Had you heard of this? And I look forward to reading your comments. And I've actually never seen the TV show Last of Us and I don't play video games. So if any of you really like it, um, let me know if it's worth watching. <laughs> so anyway, I'll see you next week for Tarantula Tuesday. Bye.